He loves water so much that he's just disappeared underneath the surface of the water. There is a certain inevitability. Oh, there he is. It's our very special friend, the hippo that lives at Twin Dams. Here he is. Oh, he's a little bit shy. So he's just making sure to tell me that he, I mustn't stay here too long and I mustn't come into the water with him. And that's why he's showing me his massive teeth. There we go. See, look at that. Isn't that incredible? And what he's telling me, and I'm reading his language, is that I mustn't come up to the surface of the water. I mustn't get too close to him because otherwise he'd feel very, very upset. Now, hippos feel safe in water. As long as you don't bother them when they're in the water itself, they aren't too stressed about us, which means we can sit and safely watch them because a hippo is absolutely huge. Remember, a hippo weighs, in some cases, up to nearly two tons in weight. They're very big animals and they're very, very strong. So we've got to be careful in the way that we approach them. Hey, buddy. There you go. Now, oh, he's not swimming. He's standing on the bottom of this water hole. And every now and again, he lifts up his head and he takes a breath. And basically why he's here is to hide away from the hot, hot sun. And to feel safe as well. Oh, there he goes under the water. So he's going to run along the bottom for a bit and then pop back up again. And he can only hold his breath for about five minutes or so. Hello, there he is. But most of the time, when they're in the water, a hippo is big splash. A hippo is content to just lie with its head sticking above the surface of the water. And you can see that's what they're designed to do. Look at where his nostrils are, right at the top of his nose and his eyes and his ears. Oh, Caroline, you want to know, well, why do hippos like water so much? Caroline, it's because their skin is very, very sensitive. So a hippo only comes out at night when the sun has disappeared over the horizon and it's nice and cool. Their skin is so sensitive to sunlight that they get really nasty sunburn if they're out in the sun for too long. And even though they can actually produce their own sunblock, and that sounds very silly, but their skin actually creates a substance that works really well uh, to protect its skin. It doesn't work for too long and their skin gets dried out and cracked and sore if they're out in the sun for too long. So a hippo sleeps in the water during the day or rests in the water during the day and it's only at night that they come out. And unlike that leopard with Taylor, they come out and they only eat grass. That is all that a hippopotamus will eat. So even though you saw those sharp teeth earlier, those are just to protect him. Now, I'm not far away from Taylor at all. In fact, I'm pretty close to her. So let's jump across a couple of hundred meters and see what her leopard's up to. Our leopard is running, our leopard is running. And I think Jamie should come and join me in the sighting because in case we have to